Thank you so much for clicking the thumbnail and being interested in my work. In this video, I discuss my techniques and tips and share with you how I approach on how to draw the mouth and the teeth. Now stick with it right through till the end because here and there I'll be doing some real time footage so you could take a closer look. So let's dive in and take a look. Right, the first thing I do is actually put a point into the centre of my board I'm working on and the centre point in my reference image and then I work outwards from there and then that will ensure that the drawing is in the centre of the board I'm working on. I tend to use a grey pencil to draw the outline nowadays uh, as it's a neutral colour. Um, it don't cause any problems with the colours when you lay them on the top. If you would like a more in-depth look at how I draw the outline, please check out my video in my channel, Three Ways How to Draw the Outline. Now for the base coast I'm using a selection of primary colours and one secondary colour which is the green there. Here's the nine value system, four lights, four darks and one mid-tone. So basically I'm just following that as I go and try and get the shades accordingly. It's a good idea when you're working standing up with an easel is to just check with the spirit level, make sure everything's okay. This base coat is just basically to make sure everything's in the right place before you start laying heavy pastel on and also it fills the tooth up as well of the board so it's easier than when you put subsequent layers of pastel on. Here's the selection of colours I use for teeth. Basically it's orange and blue and a little bit of red just to make purples when I need to. Uh, teeth quite interesting to draw. Uh, they can look a bit discoloured if you're not careful. That's why if you use the orange and blue it creates a natural grey because the complementary colours. And the colours are quite subtle, these oranges and grey and blues, purples. It's surprising how many different colours are actually in teeth. Um, so it's not just a case of grey and white, there's very, very subtle different shades of tones of blues, oranges and purples. Right, here's some richer colours that I'm introducing now alongside the other ones, uh, which are the Karen D. Ash uh, collection. Very vibrant, um, very high pigment in these pencils, so um, they are really great to, to get hold of if you haven't got a set. I've left a list of materials in the description below if you want to check that out at the end of the video. I've also included links if you're in America or UK to make it easier to buy from Amazon. So please uh, have a look at those at the end. Right, 
Now, if you really want something with high pigment, I should buy a selection of Rembrandt sticks. Uh, they are incredibly high intensity colors. Now the best way I've found to sharpen pencils is to use a snap off blade, a knife, and then just push it through with the thumb at back of the blade, just getting all the wood off. And once that's done, just chafer, as you're turning the pencil, just chafer the pastel itself into a point. Now to create the natural shadows, I'm using dark green with the red. Now green is a complementary color of red, which creates a natural shadow rather than using black. It, it, it's more alive and more fresh. The deep shadows, as you see there, are brown and blue. There's no black at all in this drawing I'm doing. To create the skin tones here, I'm using the rich Carandy Ash pencils, which is similar color to what the skin tone is. And then going over with red, blue, and yellow, the primary colors, and that gets a natural sort of feel to the skin tone. Now here's some real time footage, just showing you how I deal with the edges of the lips going into the skin tone, because that can be quite awkward, uh, because it has to be really subtle. So you have to just take your time with this, and then putting in the white first, and then going over with the colors. See what I'm using here is a dark ultramarine, and that is over the white I've just put in. And then I'll go over them with red to make subtle purples. Here I'm using a dark ultramarine and a light ultramarine. I suggest looking through the reflection of a mirror at your work now and again, because this will actually bring out areas that needs attention because you're actually seeing it from a different angle. It makes you aware of things that need altering. If you're finding that you're getting value from this video, why not subscribe? It's absolutely free then you're sure not to miss any of my future videos.
Just to give you an idea how many pencils I hold in my hand while I'm drawing, there's quite a few there. The drawing is not just about putting detail in, it's about putting emotion in there as well. So I suggest really open the heart, allow the mind just to quieten and just focus on feeling the subject as you draw in it. The more you open up, the more you send love to that image you are copying from, the more energy you will feel and it'll go it'll actually flow through you out of your hands into the drawing Here's the drawing shown at the correct angle. Thank you for watching the video right through to the end. If you found value in it and you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Appreciate it, it would help the channel. Leave a comment and a message in the comments below. Uh, let me know what sort of videos you want me to produce. I've actually left a couple of links here for you to uh, click on. And to subscribe, click on the circle here. It's absolutely free and then you're sure not to miss any of my future videos. Thank you so much, take care and be well.